Welcome back to another episode of our FM22 Unknown to Icon series. We have started at the bottom of the English divisions and we'll try to get to the promised land of the Premier League. If you enjoy football management content and want to see more videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button. So, in this video, I'm going to show you a mid-season review. Good news is, we're top of the league. Top of the league! Now, how did we do it? We haven't lost a game yet. We're doing fantastic. 14 wins, 6 draws, and no losses. We've got 48 points. Goal difference is 18. I would say that it's pretty low, but to be fair, look at the rest of the division. We're up there as one of the top, which is amazing. Hock and hole. Guys, if you can sign this player in our lower, lower divisions, I think even in League 2, I think he's going to be a real good player. Have you used him before? Four. let's actually jump into him look at those stats he's on 475 pounds a week and a year contract or stay current ability five star potential ability five star 12 11 12 and he's caused 11 12 12 13 and then even in for secondaries uh, so where did i get him from he's a red devil's youth didn't play any games when he went to brentford on a free while they was in championship they went to a premiership and then he got released from brentford and we got him on a free not alone we're halfway through the season now so he's only got six months left of his contract we're going to be able to keep him i think if we get promoted yes if we don't get promoted then there's no chance i'll be very surprised if he stays with us so he's played 19 free as a sub and he's playing 7.55 player match eight times two yellow cards not sent off passing rate 96 percent tackling win rate 83 percent all good stuff he is fantastic and then from last season he continues sean jeffers scoring for goals with us so 20 games, 22 with two uh, two subs. He scored 10, all coming for league. Three assists, average rating of a 7.26. Shots on target, 59%. Passing rate, 80%. Yeah, he, he's good. He's getting old now, 30. But again, finishing 13. He's got a little bit of pace, 11 anticipation, composure, 11. So if you're looking for players in non-league, as long as they're slight for low double digits, 10, 11, 12, 13 at push, then it'd be like Hock and Hall. They're good players. And then clean sheets at goalkeeper, um, uh, Michael Johnson. He was with us last season. Obviously, last season, he conceded 65 goals across 40 games. He's 19 games, only eight conceded. He's got 12 clean sheets. May long it continues. Let's go to the league table. Yeah, look, straight up there. Third, second, third, second, fourth, and then bang, top. All for way across until for 20th game. We had a great preseason, by the way. Great preseason. You remember last season? We lost to Eastley, division above us, but we got batted 5 0. And we was at home. We beat him in a friendly 4 3. And do you know what? That was for friendly where I just felt we could be on to something good here. So I'm beating in our friendlies. I was thinking, wow, this is going to be amazing. Through our first game, I thought, oh no, here we go. Competitive. You know how sometimes you have a great preseason and then suddenly draw or lose your first game of the season and it just goes crap. And I oh, thought for tactics. I selected for the season was going to work well so far that is happening and then yeah so we beat Eastbourne Borough 3-0 Slough 1-0 Hampton and Richmond 0-0 Haven and Waterlooville 1-0 so we're not scoring that much that's what I'm saying my goal difference isn't great but we're keeping clean sheets off 0-0 draw 2-0 win against Cheshire and Farnborough we beat 1-0 then we're out of the FA qualifying round we beat Concord 2-1 at home Tonbridge 1-0 Hitchin 1-0 Eastfleet 1-0 He's a good team away as well. Will in 2 1 at home. Chelmsford 1 0. Hemel Hempstead, we beat 1 0. Bellasay, Bellache 3 2. 2 all against Dawkins. Gospel 3 1. And then we lose to Chester in the FA Trophy. So that now means all we have to do is contract for league, which is great because if we're top of the table, we want to be doing that, right? 1 0 against Kingstonian and 1 0 against Hungerford. So I left you last season of saying that we're bringing in Adam Corbett. How has he done so far? Played five games. 11 on the bench 6.82 not too bad to be fair probably not happy if he's playing that many games I think I brought him in and then that hock and hole just came as I saw him on a scout report and I saw his stats and thought I have to sign him and then we got goalkeeper in loan Philip Jobs he's played three conceded three one clean sheet he's playing seven it's alright 
We've got good stats as well. He's young. And then we brought in Reese Thomas on loan. He's played 7 11 on front for bench. And then Ben Hockenhole. Let's look at him again just quickly. 7.55. Just comparing him to everyone else. And then David Botang on a free. And he's played at 7.14. 9 to assist. So, how are we doing this? Still playing our 4 3 3 formation. But what did I change from last season? Let's have a quick look. I think from last episode, I actually did what I said I was going to do. Apart from actually, I've kept for wing backs as both supporting. So, we got a wing back support, sweeper keeper, attack, all playing defender, defense, central defender, defense, wing back support, all winning midfielder, defend, box to box support, advanced playmaker, attack, winger, support, inside forward, attack, DLF, deep line forward, attack. That is for formation that has got me top of the table in for Vanarama, unbeaten midway through. How many points did we get last season? Just to finish up, let's have a quick look at that because it'd be funny. So we got 48 points. We can't get relegated on 40 points, surely. 43 points we got last season. We didn't get relegated. We got 48. So yes, we are safe. Can we win for league? Well, you know what you need to do? You need to subscribe to my channel so that you can carry on watching my series. I hope to catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and then continue your journey and watch this one.